A new viral outbreak can be unpredictable, and development of specific defense tools against this new virus remains time-consuming even in today's era of modern medical science and technology. And how to take care of yourself in pandemic? You gotta think ahead of time during a crisis. In the lack of effective and specific medication or vaccination, it would be desirable to have a non-specific protocol, which could be applied whenever a new viral outbreak occurs. Okay, sounds good, blah blah blah, but what is the pollution and why should I care? Chlorine dioxide is an ideal biocide which can destroy all manner of organisms. Airport guidelines for sanitization issued for all the airports for prevention of COVID-19 clearly stated that sanitization with 100 to 250 mg per liter chlorine dioxide solution is required. CO2 gas at extremely low concentration can prevent influenza A virus infection of mice caused by aerosols. North Carolina Research Campus analyzed that the level of ClO2, 0.03 parts per million, could be used in the presence of humans to prevent infection of influenza A virus and possibly other related respiratory tract virus infections. Chlorine dioxide gas could be used in places such as offices, theaters, hotels, and schools. Chlorine dioxide solution at concentrations ranging from 1 to 100 parts per million inactivates more than 99.9% .9 of the viruses within 15 second treatment for sanitization. The antiviral activity of chlorine dioxide solution was approximately 10 times higher than that of sodium hypochlorite. Conclusions The treatment of wet environments in the presence of human activity, such as kitchens and bathrooms with a low concentration chlorine dioxide gas, would be useful for reducing the risk of infection.